Let me show you how I go from this dull, faded video image here to this full of vibrant color in Camtasia. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so let me show you how I do the Camtasia color correction. Now, this is my client, Jen Kim here, and we manage her YouTube channel. So basically what that means is she films and then she gives us the footage and then we do the rest. We do the video editing, we do the channel management, we do the graphics, the thumbnail design, uploading, scheduling. She's just in charge of filming her videos. And so when she does her filming, she's over in San Francisco, California, and we're here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. When she goes and does her filming with her videographer, they usually film in a certain type of DSLR setting where the colors aren't vibrant because you want to add them later on in editing in post. And so this is exactly how we get the footage from Jen. So let me show you how I spruce this up with some color. Now I call it color correction, but in Camtasia, you know, it's pretty basic. It's not like the crazy softwares where you can really, really tweak it, but there are two things that I do to spruce it up. The first thing that I do, and I do this exactly in this order, is in the visual effects tab, and it's under the filters tab within visual effects. So there's this tab right here, and then the filters tab over here, and you're going to find like a bunch of other filters that you can add on, but the one that I like is the color LUT, which basically brings out the saturation. Like it brings out more depth and more color. Now we want to tweak this. So I'm going to drag this on to the faded video clip here. And you can see it already made it quite vibrant. And if I turn it off, you'll see that there is a big difference. Now, I would suggest not using this as is because it makes it too much. So what I do, and this is different for every video because every video is lit differently. I bring down the intensity. So I bring it down, you know, it depends really what's going on, but I'll bring it down to somewhere around here, which is about halfway. And you can see that if you turn it off and then you turn it on, that it looks much better when it's on, right? This is off. We're going, it's now more faded and now this is on, right? And it looks better. And you're probably thinking like, oh, this is way better. I can use this. You can, but let me show you one more thing that you can add onto it to make it even better. So that's the color LUT. And then we'll go back to visual effects in the other tab here. And then you want to go to color adjustment. So after I add color LUT, I then go and add color adjustment. So I'm going to drag this on and then don't get scared because it's going to make it black and white. And I honestly don't know why that is the default. I wish the default was somewhere around the middle. But anyways, it makes it black and white. Don't get scared. That's not the final outcome. It's because the saturation is way down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the contrast way down. And again, it's different for every video, right? And then I'm going to bring the brightness down. Right. Oh, that's too much. Bring it back up a little bit. And then we're going to bring the color which is the saturation. And then we're gonna give this some life. There we go. So you see, it's starting to look really good. I get it to about here and then you, it's now incremental. So you wanna just do small tweaks. And at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's your preference, right? For me, what I usually like with videos is I like things full of color and vibrancy. It's just, I just like color. So I like, for Jen to have the colors on her shirt pop out, the color of her hair pop out, the plants, the green in the plants, I want that to pop out. So I'm just gonna do a couple of tweaks here and there, and I do this now incrementally. So I don't um, toggle with the mouse, I actually type in, you know, one by one and see what looks good. So that's at 96, so I'm gonna type in 98, press enter, 
do we want a little bit more coloring it looks okay for now i'm trying to get you know people to look natural but also vibrant and you can see there is a big huge difference because if i turn off color adjustment check this out and we go back to just the color let you're like, whoa, remember when we first initially put color let and then we were like, oh yeah, that looks good. Well, you really see a huge difference with the color adjustment. So if I turn off color adjustment and then I turn off color let, look, this is how I got the original footage from, right? So you always, in my opinion, should be adding some sort of color just to make it more vibrant, make it brighter at least, you know? And uh, let me just show you I'm going to turn back on color let and then I'm going to turn on color adjustment. Now, you might just do color adjustment and then I'll turn it off here. I'll turn off color let. And you can see it strips it down a bit. You can see it 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 is still bright and vibrant, but you can see it doesn't have that saturation in the color in my opinion. This is what I see with my eyes. So I'll turn back on the color let. And you can see like her hair is more deepened, the and the shirt, it's like has more color. I'm just going to just turn it on and off. And you can see it is so much better with the combination of the color LUT and the color adjustment. These two together make a great pair. And with the color LUT, it's just the standard one, the default. I don't touch any range or anything like that. I literally just touch intensity. Same with the color adjustment. I'm just touching the brightness, contrast, saturation, bringing the contrast way down, bringing the brightness down, and bringing the saturation up. So this is how I do color correction within Camtasia, and in this version, it's Camtasia 2024. Couple of side tips here. You want to do this before you clip your videos, before you do all the editing and all the chopping and everything like that. Do this beforehand because if you edit a video like this and you know you have lots of clips and you remove dead air and it's just like you have lots of pieces, right? When you go to do this, it might freeze, it might get overloaded because it's adding it to each individually. Whereas when you start off in the beginning, it's like one long piece, it's way easier to add the color LUT and the color adjustment to that one initial piece. And then you can go and do the chopping of your videos and edit it as normal. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. And if you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I have a full on Camtasia course. It's 10 plus hours. I just recently added a bunch of lectures to it. If you don't want any ads and you just want straight up Camtasia learning for a lifetime, head down to the description below and get my Camtasia course. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.